guys and welcome to the lazy girl's kitchen today i am going to be making myself a really light lunch and i thought i would take you along for the journey so we are going to be making some spaghetti squash so this is going to happen actually in stages because you're going to have to roast your squash first so the first thing you're going to want to do is preheat your oven to 400 degrees and then let me run you through the list of ingredients Okay, so you're gonna need some spaghetti squash that I washed and halved. We're actually gonna clean the inside of it out. You're gonna need some olive oil, some pepper, some salt, and then some rose, um, rosemary like sprigs. You're gonna leave them whole, you don't have to chop them or anything, but um, these are gonna give you such amazing flavors that you, you just wait and see. All right, so let me show you what we're gonna do. Okay, so what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take a spoon and I'm just gonna take out all the seeds. And just be really careful because the even when you're cutting into your spaghetti squash, it tends to be very hard. So I just want you to make sure that you're careful. All right, just clean the insides out the best you can. There we go. I'm just gonna dump this out. So that's good enough. It doesn't have to be perfect, just as long as all the seeds are out because you don't want any of the seeds in there because it's a lot harder to clean it out after you cook it there we go okay okay so it looks like my spaghetti squash is pretty clean so now what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna take a little bit of olive oil and drizzle it into the spaghetti squash. Just like so. Oops, that one I put a little bit too much, but that's okay. And then I take my pastry brush and I just go all the way around. Just make sure it's nice and coated. You really, this will give you beautiful color and this will also help with um, just making it um, like the salt and pepper flavoring stick to it all the way around. Oh, beautiful. All right, so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna take some salt and then I just kind of drizzle it all the way around. There we go. oil I wanted to get off and then you're gonna take your pepper you're just gonna pepper it my hands are kind of slippery it's hard to get it to work there we go I like to do this because I like to flavor the spaghetti squash before I add in what I like to do with it after and then all you do with the rosemary is you're gonna put it inside just like so and this way it'll be easier for you to take it out after it cooks so what you're gonna do now is you're gonna take um, like a cookie sheet or anything and you're just gonna put it onto your cookie sheet so I have one here this is actually like a old pan that I use for like it comes with like a wire rack and I use it to roast chicken and stuff like that so I just put it right on here let me show you just like so see easy peasy and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it into your oven for one hour so while that's roasting I'm gonna go do some cleaning and then I'll meet you back here in one hour all right so my squash my spaghetti squash has been in the oven for about 58 minutes or so and I just checked on it and the edges started to get nice and brown so I decided just to take it out like a few minutes early so let me show you what it looks like look at this beauty is this not gorgeous all right, so now I'm going to show you what you're going to do. Just take out your sprigs of um, thyme, rosemary, 
I don't know. <laughs> Whatever it is. And then you're going to take your fork. Just be careful, it's hot. And you're just going to scrape it. Just like so. And let me tell you, I can smell the rosemary like so badly already. It's probably infused into this squash like you would not believe. All right, so you're just gonna scrape until everything is nice and clean, and then I'll show you what to do after. Okay, so I went through the spaghetti squash, and as you can see, it looks just like spaghetti, well, like pasta. So for the next step, what you're gonna need is some garlic and some um, chili pepper flakes, and then two tablespoons of olive oil. Now I'm, I have some Parmesan cheese here and then some chopped fresh parsley that I'm gonna garnish the um, pasta with later, but for right now, we're gonna um, use the olive oil, the garlic, which I kinda just slice, so they're just slices of garlic, and then some chili pepper flakes. So I'm gonna show you what to do with that right now. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna take two tablespoons of olive oil. If I can open the olive oil, that would be great. And you're gonna put them into your skillet. Now you wanna skillet with pretty high sides because um, you're gonna end up putting your spaghetti squash in here after. So you wanna make sure that there's enough room. And then you're gonna put your heat on your burner on and you want it on pretty low heat because what you want to do is you don't want to burn the garlic and the um, red pepper flakes what you want to do is you want this oil to infuse in the flavors of the garlic and the red pepper flakes because this is really your only coating for your pasta so we're just going to keep this on medium well actually not even on medium just on low heat for about 10 maybe 12 minutes depending on your skillet depending on the size of your garlic um it's good it's going to vary in time but i would say 10 minutes for me at least that's perfect so what you're looking for is for the garlic to get nice and just brown and not you don't want to burn the garlic because then it's going to get really bitter and you don't want that so what i do is i just stir it around on here for about 10 minutes until I see that it gets really light and brown and just kind of dries up a little bit. And I'll show you what that looks like when it's there. But that is gonna infuse the oil. And I don't put too much oil in here either because you know we put some oil on the spaghetti squash already so I don't wanna have like a really oily lunch. I just want it enough to flavor my dish. All right, so I'm gonna keep an eye on this for about 10 minutes and then I'm gonna show you what it looks like when it's done and the next steps. Okay, so my um, chili pepper flakes and garlic mixture has been cooking for about 10 minutes now. I'm gonna show you what they look like um, so that you kinda get an idea of what you're looking for. This is really what you want. Look at this beautiful color. See that? That's exactly what you're looking for, where it doesn't look burnt, but it's still kinda brown. All right, so now let me show you what you're gonna be doing. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your um, spaghetti squash and you're gonna add it into your pan. Okay. I love a good sizzle. There we go. Now you're gonna give this like a nice in the sauce so that it gets nice and flavored. There we go. Turn it this way because I'm right handed so it's easier for me. See and it's not too oily so that's perfect but it gets coated in that sauce with the garlic. So your option here is you can remove the garlic before you add in your spaghetti squash. If I were having guests over, I would do that. But because I actually love like how the garlic kind of toasts in the pan, I actually leave it in there because I like it. So, um, but that is your option. You can just take the garlic out before you add anything in and then just kind of stir everything in because the garlic flavor is already infused in your olive oil. It's just kind of getting them I like that crunch and that bite that I get. So now I have my Parmesan cheese that I'm just gonna sprinkle into here. 
Oh, it smells so good. Okay, I'm just gonna give this a nice stir. Oh, it smells so good. Now, don't get me wrong, I love pasta, but eating pasta every day, it's not the best idea for me because you'd be rolling me down the stairs. So I try to substitute as much as I can with zucchini, with sweet potatoes, with spaghetti squash, anything that I can find. All right, so I'm gonna plate this and then I'll meet you at the table. All right, so I finally got a chance to sit down and eat and I actually topped my spaghetti squash with a little, oops, my finger's blocking you, with a little bit of um, more of Parmesan and then I added some fresh parsley. So look at this goodness, look at that. Isn't that beautiful? Look at that. And it looks exactly like pasta. Mm. It's wonderful. Wonderful. So you guys have to head over to www.thelazygirlskitchen.com to get the written recipe. And I'll see you guys next time. Make sure you show me some love and subscribe. Bye.